What is up everybody, Ninja Nick here with Tactical Gaming, bringing you another video. Now this one, y'all remember when, you know, they were saying, oh, uh, the cocaine in the White House was discovered in the West Wing and all this other kind of shit? Well, new twist revealed in White House cocaine mystery. Now, I got a quick little glimpse of what it was, and they're saying it's in a much more secure section of the White House. Surprise, surprise? Huh? I'm not surprised. Not really. Mm -mm. Because Hunter Biden literally got away with a slap on the wrist from several charges that most people would have done 10 plus years and gotten 250000 plus dollars on top of any other charge. So, you know, hey, you know, loses out on fines because of daddy. Loses out on charges because of daddy. Because, oh, the DOJ works for his daddy. Dang. He must be a daddy's boy. Mm-hmm. But we're going to get into this. A lot. Uh, to a new twist in the mystery of how cocaine made its way into the White House. All right, in a different place than we thought. The Secret Service is now saying the drug was found in a more secure location. As the Biden administration dodges questions on the matter, more secure. Really. Yeah, I mean, Her dodging questions on to, like, what's going on? Interesting. Interesting. Hey, good morning, Steve Kelly and Brian. It's been five days since cocaine was found in the West. Five days. No That's horrible investigation skills. Details, but as you mentioned, I'm sorry, but aren't, you know... <laughs> the Secret Service is supposed to be some pretty good investigators. I mean, they protect the, the President of the United States. So you think they would be some of the best, right? I mean, you have to go to college. You have to be an educated person to be, you know, a Secret Service member or FBI. Which is ironically funny because anyone with a brain knows that going to college is just, you know, getting indoctrinated. That's what it is. They, they don't care about true education because if they did, they'd, true, they'd actually teach true history, which they don't. And that's the same thing with schools in general. Like, you know, elementary, junior high, high school. They all pick and choose certain sections of history. They don't tell the entire truth. And we all know that. Especially once we get older and we start learning or relearning history or whatever else be the case... And we find out that there's a lot more to certain sections of history that we did learn that they didn't actually fully actually tell us. Ironic, huh? But I find it funny that these people who are supposed to be some of the best, considering they protect the president, are taking them five plus days to figure out who the fuck it was. <laughs> and they don't have cameras in the White House? I doubt that. Security for... Come on now. If poor people have security cameras in their homes to defend themselves for whatever else why wouldn't the white house have security cameras unless you know they're doing some shady shit in the white house which also wouldn't be too surprising we do learn more about the actual location remember first we were told it was in the library then we were told it was in this heavily trafficked area which led us to believe that it was the public or visitors that were on a regular tour now we know they wanted to say it was some workers executive area which oh area from our folks like you, Kayla, that have been there and spent time there, we know that it is an entrance used by staff that come from places like the DOD, DOJ, the CIA, FBI come in that entrance very close to the Oval Office and right next to the Situation Room where this uh, cubby area was believed to be where this was found. Now, the Secret Service tells us we may not know any details until <laughs> next week. As the Are you serious? Next week. Led Oh my the God! Speculation as the Secret Service reviews all the cameras and access logs. Now, among those speculating, former President Donald Trump, who took to True Social and had this to say: <laughs> Does anybody really believe that the cocaine found in the West Wing of the White House, very close to the Oval Office, is for the use of anyone other than Hunter yep. and Joe Biden? We the know that's what it is. Media will soon start saying that the amount found was quote very small, and if it wasn't cocaine but rather common ground up aspirin and the story will vanish meanwhile yep. the white house not actually knocking directly down accusations
politicians like that saying that they essentially, this is spokesman Andrew Bates on a gaggle. So you'll hear on this like night right here, right? On this night right here during this like little party thing that Biden had at the White House, right? You you literally see Hunter like acting super erratic. Now, if you it, especially nowadays, most people know what it looks like when people are fucking high as shit. Whether it be methamphetamines, cocaine, fentanyl, or anything else that's out there, right? <laughs> you you can tell when someone's high. This dude, this motherfucker right here. He was literally like super erratic. He was like, oh, I love you. He, he like gave a kid a kiss and everything. This, this, this dude was high at the White House. Like supremely high at the White House. Which was also ironic that, you know, the Forbes video that I did on about the whole cocaine being found at the White House. They used Snoop Dogg. They used Willie Nelson. They used several other people who went to the White House, who either smoked weed, which, honestly, I don't give a shit about weed, because you, you can't die on weed, and at the same time, stoners aren't going around stealing shit from people, unless they're, like, kids. Like, if you're a grown-ass adult and you smoke weed, unless you're already a degenerate, you, you don't smoke weed and then go, man, I'm gonna go and steal shit from the store. You're too fucking ripped, man. Like, I come from California. <laughs> You, most people, once they smoke weed, they're like, they ain't going anywhere. And if they're raiding anything, they're raiding their fucking fridge. Cocaine motherfuckers or anyone else on a heavy-duty barbiturate, they're either <laughs> zombies like you see on the streets of L.A., San Francisco, San Bernardino, and all that. And or they're highly erratic, like how he was when he was at the White House. And he was sweating hardcore. I mean, not normal sweat. This dude was sweating. Looking the Hatch Act trying to respond to these accusations. Listen. Former President Trump has made some pretty wild posts uh, recently on social media. Uh, one of them was that uh, the cocaine found in the White House was uh, had belonged to either the President or his son. Are you willing to say that that's not the case, that they don't belong to them? I, I don't have uh, a response to that. <laughs> I have to be careful about the Hatch Act. I mean, and this is uh, Senator Tom Cotton. They released that letter that we've talked about. Go to with the Hatch Act. That whatever the Secret Service finds in their investigation be made public. He wants to know whether anyone's going to be held accountable and prosecuted. And also, he wants to know what new procedures or what procedures exist that were. And they didn't even want to answer those questions. The securing of During the, the interview with Kareem Jean Pierre. On planet Earth. Hey guys, there is a press briefing. We hope to maybe get some more answers today, but we'll have to wait and find out. I doubt you're going to get any answers in that briefing if history is right. like yeah. Griff. So, Griff, is that if that's a place they're saying you have to be pretty much a credentialed, you have a reason to be there. There's no tourists <laughs> going through that area. Yep. Is it safe to say? So now, yes, that's very fair to say. In fact, Haley can. Yes, I hear you. Even if the press is a, a, a card carrying press badge person, I don't go over there. This right. is the executive. Yeah, I hear you. I know you want attention. You see the vice president, secretaries right. come and go. And when they first come in, assuming they're there for that immediate, you know, uh, situation room secure briefing, this is the cubbyhole they would put their devices right. into. So this would not be a place where, you know, embedded. <laughs> from Omaha would come to see the White House for the first time. So, now they definitely can't use, oh, it must have came in during one of the tours in the White House. They can't use that. But now they're going to direct it towards staffers, someone who works there. And you can guarantee they're going to look for anyone that they can railroad so that they can't sit there and actually confirm that it was Hunter Biden's cocaine. Because... During that party, during everything else, all the people you saw were acting pretty fucking normal. Mine is Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden was erratic as all hell and sweating profusely. Profusely. So, it's a little ridiculous that, you know, and obvious, that during the press briefing at the White House with Karine Jean-Pierre, she refused to answer key questions. One such as, oh, hey, you know, when they do find out who it is, are they going to be pressing charges and making them held accountable? She's like, oh, well, I can't really answer that. I got to refer that to the Secret Service. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? 
That's a clear, obvious fucking yes. But wait, it's because they already know. And the reason why they're waiting so long is because they want to find someone who does cocaine who works there. They're going to try to, they're going to test everyone who works there and see if they test positive for any kind of controlled substance that they shouldn't have. And then what they're going to do is they're going to probably pay them off to admit to, oh yeah, with my cocaine, right? They won't do any jail time. They'll get a little bit of like, you know, news coverage, but they'll get a nice good settlement sum of money to go away and shut the fuck up. You can guarantee it's going to be something along those lines. Because Biden's very key on that. Very, very, very fucking key on that. There's a there's a good reason on why, you know, not just Hunter Biden and Joe Biden have been making millions and millions of dollars off of illegal transactions and deals with overseas clients such as, oh, Ukraine, China. It's because Biden himself has probably done some no-no things with certain people in his family keyword his daughter where they literally had her diary and in her diary stated that he did several things several things that were extremely inappropriate for a father to do to his daughter not not to mention the countless endless sea of videos out there of him fucking sniffing and being weird with kids like the dude is gone the dude is the, the dude can't control everything he's doing he just can't, but that's it for the video because they get into some other kind of, you know, stuff that's eh, but yeah, go figure, a much more secure location in the White House, huh, huh, go figure, right, go figure, well, like, share, subscribe, spread the word, everybody, and let's show Americans the truth, because I mean, Good portions of the news media aren't going to do it. But, yeah. So, stay free, America. Love you guys.